What's up, YouTubies? It's Sharon and Johnson. Well, just Sharon <laughs> for now. Um, and I am back to tell you guys my so-called adventures. So I'm in England right now. I've been here for two weeks <laughs> and it is such a culture shock. It is so different um, from Toronto. It's so different from Canada in general. Uh, people are very nice here to a certain extent. I haven't had any uh, rude comments or anything, but uh, the food here is very, very different. Can I just tell you that I crave Asian food? There's a supermarket called Lidl, L-I-D-L, I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, that uh, is just a five minute walk. And I've had the chance to go there, explore, purchase some things I've never seen in Canada, and hopefully try it with you guys. First off, they had these things. These are crispy baked snack pork pies, okay? How much were these? I don't really know. Oh, food in England is actually pretty cheap. Okay, so these are all the receipts of what I've bought so far. Yeah, keep your receipts, guys. When you're here visiting, you get your taxes back. That's what I've heard. I don't know if it's true or not. Okay, so I got these pork pies for 85 pence. Uh, in Canada, I would usually just double it up with so like $1.70 or $1.90 or something. I don't know. Okay. So, 85 pence, and you get four of these crispy baked pork pies. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. It smells like a pie. Looks like a pie. What? I didn't... So my first bite, I didn't really get into the inside of it. My second bite, I got into the meat. It's actually not as bad. Um, it kind of tastes like um, a Chinese bakery pastry called Ta Su So. Uh, it's like barbecue pork in a flaky pastry. Yeah, it actually tastes like that. Mmm. Mmm, it's actually not bad. Would I buy again? Probably not. It's not the healthiest. But, yeah, three more to go. Next one. One of my friends told me I had to try. Scotch eggs. I'm actually terrified of trying this. Mmm, why is because one, for some odd reason, England has their eggs outside of the fridge. They also have their skim milk outside of the fridge, which is baffling to me. Um, but I had another friend tell me how like, a certain protective layer is removed in North America. That's why our fridges have, I mean, our eggs have to be in the fridge. Anyways, their eggs are outside the fridge here. I bought a pack of eggs, but I put it in the fridge. <laughs> Force of habit, it's staying in the fridge, okay guys? Two scotch eggs. Uh, these are 85 pence. What are these? It is a pork sausage meat filled with a whole egg and coated in breadcrumbs. <sighs> Why do you guys call it scotch eggs if it's not like drenched in scotch? Okay. This is how it looks like, guys. Looks like a breaded meatball. OMG. Look at this, guys. There's an egg inside. So it's exactly what it says. It's meat covered an egg with breadcrumbs. Okay? We're trying this. So you can eat this either hot or cold. I'm gonna try this cold just because uh, the microwave's not available right now. That's interesting. I don't know if I like it. All I taste is egg. And I don't like how the breadcrumb is so dry. I'm also trying their apple juice. Um, it's actually pretty cheap. It was like 60, 60 pence. So, of course.
Mm. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the scotch egg. The breadcrumbs are too dry. But the other one, the, the, the pork pie is actually pretty good. So that's what it is, guys. Those are the two. I will finish them. I don't waste food. I had a craving for Oreos. Didn't find any Oreos, but I did find Neo. One really interesting thing I found here is that the ingredients they use to make the almost exact same stuff is, I guess you say, slightly healthier. Yesterday I went to ASDA, ASDA. Um, it's, uh, it, I think it was either owned by Walmart, very similar to Walmart. I managed to get gluten-free pasta for 45 pence, which is dirt cheap. Um, comparing that to Toronto. But anyways, let's try this. So yeah, a lot of their healthy stuff is actually pretty healthy and pretty cheap. Oh my god, they're in 75 bags! Oh my god, I love this. But they do have a lot of waste when it comes to packaging. Okay. They look like Oreos. Smell like Oreos, guys. And they say Neo on them. I wish I had the milk. Okay, I'm twisted. Mm. Or I know better. I don't know. Something about this is just off. Ah. Like the cookie itself is not that crunchy. It actually kind of tastes soggy. I just saw I opened a brand new package. Hmm. I don't know. And definitely not something I would buy again. And I do prefer Oreos. So I'm trying, I'm still on the lookout for those. Next thing I have is these. What England people call Chris, not chips, guys. Chris. Um, so chips in England are fries to Canada or North Americans. Um, in England, crisps are the chips. So what I find it very, very weird is that if you go to a McDonald's, they'll still say, oh, they'll still call it as fries, and that's totally acceptable. But then when you go to a supermarket, you see crisps and chips. And chips are fries. Uh, one thing I really like about England though is that they have thick cut chips. So thick cut fries with sea salt. Delicious guys, delicious. Um, and then I saw these flaming hot puffs. I've never seen them before. Um, and another interesting thing is a lot of their chips, or sorry, crisp, are packaged in like this family packaged, like family friendly packaging. Like, what if I don't? What if I don't want to have a small bag in one sitting? What if I want the whole thing? Why do you need to have so much waste? So much plastic waste? Oh, it's so small. I could finish that bag in one sitting. Oh, that's good. Mm. Oh, that's good. I'm bringing some home during Christmas. Oh, this is so good. If you thought the crunchy flaming hot Cheetos were good, oh, this is so good. Oh, something about this. Oh, this is good. Mm-hmm. Mm, let's talk about life while I'm eating that. Oh, it's so good though. Um so England is um it's different. It's it's raining right now. It's still raining. I don't know how that's possible, guys. 
It's been raining since like the past five hours. And the rain that goes on here is not just like sprinkle. It's like pounding rain. It's 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 like flooding outside and it's still raining. I don't know how. But yeah, there's not much sunlight here. Um where I am, it's not London. It's a, it's a small little city, um, but it's not like too small. But um, everywhere is walkable, so I've been walking a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been walking a lot, doing a lot of exploring. Um, it hasn't gotten too cold here. There, apparently, we don't get much snow here, which I'm kind of excited for. But other than that, I did a lot of eating out, so I do have a lot of food pictures and stuff coming your way. And I am visiting London next week, so I'm really, really excited about that. But I think for now, guys, I'm going to end this video here. I'm actually going to release another video, hopefully sometime next week, uh, tips and tricks on any Canadians that want to study abroad. I have some really good links because I had really good friends that helped me out. It's real. It's actually really hard. Um, like if you had to just do everything yourself. But now, tips and tricks to help you guys out. Let you figure out what to do, how to do it, what to do when you get here. Don't get catfish into accommodation like what I did. Oh my god, I'll tell you guys about that one next time. Uh, but that is it for now. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe so you guys can follow my adventure. Bye guys.